Hello everybody, it's me, Autistic Genius, and I'm not wearing any trousers. Look! Look! Bl they are navy blue. And I believe these are from Tesco. Today we're talking about giving instructions. Giving instructions is something we have to do all the time when we work in a school, or we, or we are a boss of an employment, or we're a parent, or just in general. Everybody at some point gives an instruction, and everybody at some point has to follow an instruction. But there are ways to do it and there are ways not to do it. I'm going to talk about the ways that I don't like, and I'm going to tell you how I like it. And these are the, re the reasons I like instructions this way is because I am autistic, and being autistic means it's difficult for me to do, to follow in certain instructions delivered in a certain way. This genuinely happened to me at work. Boss walks in like this. Proper like, you know. It's a woman, so she walks like this. She's quite like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? She's walking around. Butch, not the word I'd use. She came up to me and said, you know what, Tam? I like, yes. Could you just, uh, you know, tidy up a bit? I looked around. There was nothing on the floor, and everything was kind of put away. Everything was on shelves and stuff. And I said, what do you mean? What do you want me to do specifically? What needs sorting specifically? She goes, you know what I mean. Just tidy up. And she walked off. And the outcome of that was me not doing it. The reason why is because I was never told what was messy, because as far as I'm concerned, it was fine. And I was never explained to why it needs to be done. Because at the end of the day, if you're a teacher and you're or a boss or anything, and, and you ask and give an instruction, the person who has to follow the instruction has every right in the world to say why. They have to, it's ridiculous. And you've got to give a good reason. You can't just go why, because I said so. Oh, okay, well I'm gonna say no. Because you can't do that, because we well, yeah, can, because I said so. Oh! Hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. This is what I like. Boss walks in. You right, Tom? Yeah. Um, it's that shelf there, on the far side, yeah. It's looking a bit messy, can you sort that shelf? In fact, just do that, just, just make that a bit neater for me, and then make sure all the toys are in the right boxes. How much easier is that? How much easier? Come on, come on. That's easier. Listen, listen, listen. Look, 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 listen. When you give an instruction, can you please just give us, like, the blunt, jargon three, BS free instruction? Like, for example, you know when you're at school and you had a wee boy and or a wee girl and the teacher goes, right then, stop what you're doing, everybody. We're going to put our pens away and we're going to come and sit down and read a story. What? What? Too much, too much, too much, too much info. This is what you do. You do that for everyone, okay? Yeah. And then the teaching assistant maybe, or the teacher will then go up to the person who didn't get that and goes, you're right, all right, put your pens away, in the pot. Good, good, well done, right. Follow me, please. All right, come on, come, let's go sit down. Sit there for me. And we're going to read a story. That's nice, isn't it? That's a bit better. One bit of information. I know I said it very quickly, but I'm not waiting for them to do it. You give them that instruction. Each instruction, give them eight seconds to process it and do it. Give them eight. Never do it. I'm going to count to five. Stupid. Stupid. You should be counting to ten at least. And that's, that's the second time you've asked. So you've given them a chance, a few seconds, and then maybe if, they're, if it's blatantly ignoring, because it's ignoring, and then there's being autistic. If they're blatantly ignoring you, Give it eight seconds, no response. You say, I'm gonna to count to 10, and you're gonna put your pens away. Done. Count to 10, because you're giving them another 10 seconds. That's what you do, count to 10. It's fair, it's fair, and it's nicer for us to, it's just nicer. It's just nicer, it is nicer. It is a lot nicer. When you give instructions, don't make it open-ended. Don't make it broad, because if it's broad, we're just gonna go like, what? Break it down. Bullet points. Simple. Forward instructions. Autistic person, if you give them instructions like a Lego instructions, where it's like that brick, that brick, that brick. We're really good at that, aren't we? You know it's that like, you know, really good at building stuff with instructions because we follow it because it's clear, it's simple, and it's one thing at a time. If you gave us the box of the Lego model, right, and it was, say, I don't know, a, 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 a house, and it was a box and pictures of ego, build it. Oh, bloody, no way, not a chance, not a chance. Forget it, simple, short, 
instructions BS3. As little language as possible. Sit down, please. Sounds harsh, but works. Not, can you sit down, please? Because we're going to read a story. No, just sit down, please. Hey, sit down, give it a sec. We're going to read a story now. Mwah! It's a beautiful! That's what I like, okay? That's how I like it. Hopefully, you'll watch these uh, children and parents and teachers and you'll go, that's a very good idea, Mr. Autistic Genius. Thank you so much for watching Monday's video. I'm gonna just, uh, just gonna tell you something. Um, just to let you know as well, every Friday I like to answer your questions. So if you have a question for me regarding this video or any other videos, or just a general question or a suggestion for a future video, or just something stupid you think's funny, comment below and I may read it out on a video and respond to it with some form of wit or sarcasm because that's what people on YouTube tend to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!